conflict between Hamas and Israel continues and it's having effects on local capital region communities. One college showing support for its students as they address their concerns overseas. News 10 ABC's Anthony Krolikowski joining us live in studio with more. Anthony? Lydia and John, UAlbany is home to both Israeli and Palestinian students who have family caught in conflict. Far removed from the deadly attacks, these students are having civil discussions as they look to peace. In a letter sent to the student body, Student Affairs of UAlbany reached out with resources for those struggling due to the war. Advice includes practicing self-care and talking to supportive people both at school and back home. In response, the UAlbany Muslim Student Association gathered community members to listen to both groups affected by the conflict. They feel that Muslim voices aren't being heard enough. We've seen the university send a letter that acknowledges the loss of life on Israel side, but doesn't on Palestinian side. As speakers discussed political struggles, they made sure to tie back to the humanitarian issues of the war. We really do mourn the innocent lives lost on both sides of this battle. At the end of the day, death is death, and we mourn death. That's in the Islamic faith, right, that killing is not something that we support. Just as Governor Hochul announced Americans and Israelis have lost their lives due to the conflict, Palestinian students shared the same. It's not just the governments or like the groups that's like going, there's people, civilians that have nothing to do with it are, that are being hurt. As they worry about how the conflict unfolds back home, students are raising money for kids suffering in Gaza. There's no water, there's no electricity, there's no power for them to, you know, keep themselves afloat during this time. One of the fundraisers held by two student groups raised more than $600 by the end of the night. As the war continues, stay with us both on air and online at News10.com for the impacts here in the Capital Region. Reporting live in the studio, Anthony Krolikowski, News10 ABC.